G'day. So, I've made a um, video about the uh, cold steel Coburn one time, and uh, this is a uh, an update to something that I did with my cold steel Coburn. So it's not going to take long. So one of the issues that I found with the Coburn, and a lot of you have um, said so in the comments, is that the the original. Um, belt clip, silver white belt clip um, that went with this sheath uh, tended not to hold the um, sheath to your belt every time you drew the knife. So I found that I had to push against the sheath every time I had to draw it because if I did not do that the whole sheath would well, the whole sheath would, uh, would would come off, and so it sort of defeats the purpose. So what I've done here is that I've taken the uh, that um, nickel-plated um, steel clip and replaced it with one of these, a Teklok. Um, spelling is T-E-K-L-O-K, -E a Teklok. Um, well, attachment. Well, the thing about the tech lock is you can adjust it to your belt's width and thickness by moving these um, these plastic um, things. Let me just grab that for you. It fell to the floor there. You can take these off and move them up and down this um, these. Um, holes here. What I have to do is attach this little bit here into one of those holes and adjust it to the length of your or to the width of your belt for a more secure um, attachment. And it, it makes for a really effective um, yeah, let me just see if I could I couldn't find the, the hole. There you go makes for a very effective um, securing system. One other thing about the uh, the tech lock is that the um, it, you can screw it to the scabbard so normally it comes with four of these screws so it's it's like this on one side it's like that on the other and it's got these rubber um, pads in between if you had a scabbard with two sets of um, attachment holes and um, loops, right, one here on this side, you could have used the other two sets of screws, the other pair of screws, to put it there more securely. However, because of the Coburn's sheath being what it is, it's only got one set of um, securing holes. Um, I found that I could only secure it on one side leaving the other side a bit of a gap. Even so, it's it's rigid enough that it won't uh, flap. I've installed this inside the belt like this. You can install it outside the belt with the scabbard outside the belt. If you want more concealment, you could install it this way inside the belt. You could even fasten it to one of your um, molly equipped um, bags if you have a have an inkling to do that that's just fine could be done so this is what I've done to my um, and when, when when you lock this it locks and then it's got that securing uh, paired hook there and to undo simply do that remove you can of course take this out place it on the other side if that is what your um, your uh, dexterity requires. You know, I'm left-handed so I always set this for a left-handed carry but you know it doesn't matter you can even take this off with a Phillips screwdriver take this off and arrange it that way so you could wear this horizontally in the back of your belt and for some people that's apparently a very good way of carrying so yeah it, it opens up um, a lot of options 
for your knife. And it doesn't damage the scabbard in any way. In fact, it's almost like it's designed for it, really. The only problem, uh, the, the only issue, of oh course, it's not really even an issue, that I wish the Coburn had another set of um, fastening holes up here so I could use four screws instead of just two on one side. Um, it doesn't change the um, the effectiveness of the knife in any way, it's just my sense of balance really. So there you have it, a tech lock um, um, attachment for um, the Coburn knife. Some of you might have used a C-clip, well, that's also just as good, or some other form of um, belt attachment, but for me this will do quite nicely. Right? It's not just for Kydex, you can also use it for things like these for as long as it's got these attachment holes in them. So, take care now, see you again soon.